Hello fellow engineers, we are here with another episode in space near Triton. As you can see from the display, I still have a bit of cargo. The red one is the large cargo container and as it's uranium, the metal I'm refining, it's gonna take a long time. So I think we can leave this asteroid and keep looking for platinum. Okay, let's move on to the next asteroid, hoping to find platinum very soon. I was trying to look for information about how to find platinum, but there is little knowledge by the community about how to find it efficiently apart by using mods. I think it's just a matter of wandering around hoping to find something. Yeah, I found this asteroid interesting, it has this kind of a canal in the middle. I don't know if it means anything, but apparently not. So the next asteroid either didn't have anything useful. So let's move on to another one. This one has kind of a crater and I really hoped there was something useful. And well, it contains uranium. But still, it's not what I'm looking for. I already found enough. Next one contained magnesium. I don't know why I'm carving here. Maybe I was hoping to find something else deeper inside. But no, nothing. So, moving on to the next asteroid. I was really thinking hard of a way to be more efficient. Especially because big asteroids need to fly around like this and i was so distracted that i actually crashed ship onto this asteroid so let's fix it luckily the damage was not so extended so it didn't take that much to fix it and i moved to the next asteroid Seriously, I was really thinking about giving up on this week's episode, but um, then I decided to insist a little bit more, because if you don't insist, you don't find things. Anyways, here you can see I'm prospecting this other asteroid, and I realized that it's not really efficient. I mean, I can go deep into the asteroid a few meters, but with a drone, for example, I can pass through the asteroid and actually detect what's inside but on the other side the range of detection of a small grade ore detector is just 50 meters so there is actually a solution and it is to attach a large grid detector onto a small ship like this one and that's what i actually did i parked the ship and i started with the modifications how do you attach a large grid ore detector into a small ship? Well, you're about to see. The first thing I did is to attach the merge block onto the small grid ship. So I use the support with armor blocks. And then on top of it, I added the actual merge block, like so. Boom. Then on the other side, I have added a uh, hinge with a small green head and again the merge block like so yeah turn off the thrusters Oof. yeah you have to disconnect the rest from uh, the large grid ship so let's finish welding this hinge detach from the ship and then i can finally attach the ore detector like so Finishing touches, and we are ready. Well, actually, I thought I could add extra thrusters, because it was already very slow without this attachment, so this is very needed. Okay, cool. We are ready for the first test of this mining ship with large grid or detector and yeah i prefer to control it from a warm environment so let's start carving and detecting from inside the asteroid 
and as you can see here I found cobalt on this asteroid not what we need so let's go park these uh, drone on top of the ship and move on to the next asteroid and test it again it's a good thing I managed to re-enable the autodoc script onto this mobile base although I'm always worried of crashing the ship because of some issue with it but it saves you time so here again onto the next uh, cluster of asteroids let's see what we will find here launching the drone and let's start mining I mean prospecting the asteroid silicon and ice very close one to the other next this asteroid has this little hole I didn't do that I do not know why it's there anyways let's look inside this asteroid getting closer we will then start carving oh look there's silver anyways let's carve inside the asteroid because you never know but yeah I want to start uh, carving inside the asteroid from this side closer to the silver spot and oh look there's also gold so I think we won't find anything else here so I guess we can leave goodbye asteroid see the script is working I am maneuvering the ship while the drone is trying to park mm, I got rid of a little bit of garbage unused um, gravel bit of stones because it's getting too heavy and I don't know for some reason it looked like a cool shot from here but yeah let's not waste too much time let's go ahead moving to the next asteroid bye bye and on the next one while I was carving inside I found uh, silver not bad it's not bad but I don't need it so let's keep carving guys guys we found we found it platinum the mythical the legendary I did find it oh man I can't believe it so long so much effort I think I um, visited like 50 asteroids so far and we finally there we can go back home okay okay so let's take a couple of samples and let's go back to the ship and uh, get as much as possible of platinum before going back home oh man I can't wait to go back home let's go let's go let's go let's go quick 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 I can't turn this ship is too large I mean this drone anyways let's try in reverse ouch I destroyed one of the arms Oof. well let's continue let's let's go back quick 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 all right we are outside the hole uh, it should be easy from here let's go I really don't like flying in the dark side of the asteroid you can't see anything until the very last moment and like uh, like this like this let's move up 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 Oof. okay let's continue you're almost there oh no oh no 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 dang it it's gone I've lost the drone let's see if we can find it and quickly fix it let's go out it's on the other side of the asteroid anyways with the astronaut we are more agile let's go there no signs of it nothing I don't know what happened actually I do 
the I was going for a break and uh, when I came back the drone probably drifted away so it was really hard to spot it my bad my bad but with all these platinum I can build tons of them so let's just move the ship over here and let's start mining yikes once I have enough I can even build the rest of the thruster of this ship because it was designed to have both the ion thrusters and the hydrogen thrusters because at least before this last update uh, the autonomy of hydrogen was very low so it's better to have two thruster type platinum platinum you made me spend weeks in space and you made me hate asteroids anyways i was heavy before platinum with uh, uranium but now i think i won't be able to land on triton with all this cargo so i should at least use a bit of materials to finish building the ship like these ion thrusters i should have a little bit more thrust power because in atmosphere ions are not very effective and less weight to carry so i think it's not a bad idea so to recap what we did we are here on this asteroid where we finally finally found platinum and so i will finish building the ion thrusters of this ship then i will head back to triton oh yeah and i also decided to update the ion thrusters to the sci-fi version i have it why not use them in the meantime the ship's refinery is refined platinum giving me the necessary material for the thrusters i haven't yet completed i still have a few to replace but that's not that much in the next episode i should start already with them completed i mean change it and i will head back to the planet um i mean find a way to get back to the planet without crashing this ship so we are here on this beautiful asteroid with this beautiful huge amount of platinum and I can't wait to get back and finish building the rest of the ship. Yes, because remember, this is one of the three modular ships that compose the Fire Prime. If you look at the beginning of this video, the intro music, you can see the projection of the completed ship. And that's the final objective of this first season. Bye bye.